Hey guys, Brad here for Get Out There Magazine, and today I'm here in Collingwood and Blue Mountain for the 2015 Don't Get Lost Snowshoe Raid. We've got over 50 centimeters of snow out there, we've got over 110 teams, so it looks to be a great day for racing. Racers arrived at Blue Mountain to receive their course maps and begin planning their race strategy. The three hour time limit makes it near impossible to reach all checkpoints, so planning is essential. So this year we used uh, Pretty River Valley Provincial Park, which is a really stunning park. As its namesake holds, there's amazing rivers all through it. So we had a really fun time setting the checkpoints. Under cloudy skies, the race got underway, as over 110 teams tore through the snow. Right from the start, teams began to split up and execute their own race strategies. Competitors traveled on and off trail to over 20 checkpoints scattered throughout Pretty River Valley's forests, hills, and streams. The snow conditions were deep and fluffy and slow with lots of hills, very hilly terrain, but Quite beautiful and we're in the lee of the wind so it was fantastic for temperature. The course took many racers to the highest point on the Bruce Trail. At 540 meters in height, reaching this checkpoint required some serious hill climbing through deep powder. Teams are required to find as many checkpoints as they can in three hours. Um, and basically, yeah, each checkpoint's worth a certain number of points. So the idea is to get as many points as possible before the three hour cutoff. Got a checkpoint! We try and set the points out so not everyone can collect them all, so there's a lot of strategy involved with what you're doing out there and which points to get and which ones not to get. And then uh, everyone kind of finishes at the same time as well, which is exciting because when everyone's finishing together, you know, there's a good atmosphere there, so. By myself, doing the Matrix stage, Jake's off doing his own thing. While racers stick together as a team of two, the Snowshoe Raid featured a Matrix section where teams could split up and head off solo to grab more checkpoints before regrouping and continuing. Conditions varied from well-packed trails, deep snow, and busy snowmobile trails, where hard-packed snow made for faster running. As the race neared the three-hour cutoff, teams made a hard push to the finish line to avoid losing points for every minute over the cutoff. It was a lot of fun out there and uh, can't wait till next year. The post-race awards featured some unique medals for the top finishers and a massive prize giveaway. Yeah, we had a good race today. Everyone made it back safe and sound and uh, we just did the awards. It went really well. 